looks like the perfect apartment. That view is money. This chair is made out of an old bike, so this is the handle. Oh. And then, then. What? <laughs> All right. <laughs> If you fall down in the bathroom, do you beep that and the doorman exactly. comes up and rescues you? <laughs> Here we are, Midtown East, surrounded by buildings, newsstands, and coffee carts. Look at those cinnamon rolls. Does anybody want to explain to me why it's colder in March than it was in December? What's up with that? Here's where we're going. It's like an eight minute walk away over on First Avenue. The subway transit's pretty good. Plus you've got City Bike and there are restaurants like Juice Gen, Sweet Green, and Paris Baguette. On second thought, those are all chains. But corporate chains like Wells Fargo, they're not so bad. In fact, they really know how to take care of their customers. Did you know that this one time, Wells Fargo, they went above and beyond. They signed their customers up for exciting credit cards that the customers didn't even know about. Isn't that awesome? And Capital One banking reimagined. To be honest with you, this is the same ugly bank furniture I imagined. But don't worry, this is just where the train is. And we'll find something better than fake soggy burritos. There's too much liquid in their food. I don't know why. I like coffee because it gives me the illusion that I might be awake. Well, it is addicting and caffeine is a chemical. According to that sign, there is candy somewhere in that basement. How do you even get down there? Oh, okay, down these stairs, just past the cleaners. This street, this is the Midtown East Restaurant Row equivalent. There's a lot to eat right here. Traditional Japanese junk food, which is still really healthy. And check this out, across the street, you can get some katsu curry. Ooh, and a katsu pork mix, that must be amazing. For some reason, when there's one Japanese restaurant, there's always a whole bunch of other ones right next door, like beer Papa's where you can get the ultimate donut breakfast treat. It's not a donut, it's a cream puff. It's like a crunchy donut. Down here in the basement, we've even got ourselves a little jazz club. Tommy Jazz, it was closed and then it reopened. Insomnia Cookies, Mama's Cupboard. It's like a bowl cafe type of place. Then we got some Greeks down here in the basement. And then there's like some sort of gift store, Chase the Box it's called. Then we have a Mediterranean. This pretty little garden on the street. This is actually a taco shop. This is their stairwell. Look at all the signs they got. There's even a little hot pepper. If the artwork is this good, just imagine how the food tastes. And if you can't figure out where to eat, there's even a psychic who will help you figure it out. And if you scan a QR code, they might even tell you what your purpose in life is. And if that doesn't leave you confused, this place, practical Egyptian magic. It's probably more useful than impractical Egyptian magic. Oh yeah? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, take care. Yep. Here's a tip. Louis Chicken, they have a fantastic chicken sandwich. The cheese steak is probably also really good. This coffee bar is the closest one. Great craft. The building is right over here down the street. And not only can you get your nails done, you can also get an amazing hot bagel. Tao Bagels, one of the best in New York. Oh, there's also a little espresso place. These are popping up everywhere and the prices are pretty good. Now, at first I thought they were local businesses, but look, it's conspicuously close to a Starbucks. Is the Death Star operating that little espresso? place maybe dark side of the force strong no wonder here we have a diner that's been in the neighborhood since the dawn of time and you can tell because look they got the 25 foot long menu with small print look they have eight different types of french toast then over here we got parnell's where you can celebrate saint patrick's day unless you're italian the sunshine floris not open yet What a crazy cafe. Look, they got books, real books. You can just take one and read it. And let's be real, you might get more out of these than what we saw at that bookstore. Plus they serve food. It's called the Langelo Pizza and Wine Bar. Pam, you've always got the best stuff. I know. How do you do it? I love my clients and work 
very hard for them and always tell the truth. I think that most realtors in New York don't do any of those things. <laughs> 21 floors up. in the bathroom. That's how you know you've made it in New York. And look, this bathroom view beats the pants off most apartment views in this city. We're looking at a fabulous condo in the Sutton neighborhood. Actually, it's three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Talk about moving. Moving mint, high ceilings, spectacular light and views, and it's all done. It's a shoes off place. <laughs> how are you? Hi. Look at the tile. Wow. Yeah, and actually, the light is such that I don't look so old. <laughs> look at this cool mirror. Oh, belt. it's a belt. That's sweet. Look at that. If you forget your belt, <laughs> you can just put that one on. Look at all the pictures. The great thing about seeing a place that somebody lives in is we can try to interpret their art pieces. They have some other belts out here. Is that what these are? So as people were in the trenches in World War I, they would sew on different memorabilia. That's what this is. You have these different pouches and buttons. Interesting. And a lot of time on their hands. This one says post office rifles. See like the Mondrian, 432 Park, the Lipstick Building. Every building. The Chrysler Building. Yeah. You could see the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building right next to each other. Sometimes the hardest thing about an apartment like this is figuring out what to say because there's just so much. Ceiling height. 10 foot, 5 inches. This is also the perfect room to have fun with your friends and talk about your accomplishments. I'm sure you've got a few of them if you're living in a place like this. And with so many windows, I don't think you're going to want a TV. There's really nowhere to put one without ruining the space. And you should watch less TV, but I guess you could have one there and reverse the couch and make it a Netflix corner. Can we turn this on? Do we know how it turns on? Oh, there it is. It's got like a really subtle luster to it on the inside, but the place is just so bright already that it's kind of hard to tell maybe. Oh, there's the cat. Oh, you look friendly. Uh, don't worry, I'm nice. I'll stay over here, I'll stay away from you. He blends in, he's using his natural camouflage. Buddy, you are like a chameleon. Oh, no, oh, I'm sorry. So we have uh, these white glass countertops. Really? We have a Gaganoff appliance package. Tons of storage. Ooh, look at that. There's secrets everywhere. What kind of snacks do they have? Oh, that's for the cat. It's nice how you can hide away in the microwave. Yeah, that's nice. Having a microwave out kind of sucks, especially when your ramen explodes. Is this the oven from the spaceship? What do we this got here? This is the oven from the spaceship. Here you go. Gaganaw, that Press sounds it. expensive. Ooh, look at that. It opens on its own sideways. What kind of witchcraft is this? Look at these little dials and stuff. You could definitely throw a rotisserie chicken in there. Look at that range. We got five burners. We have a vent up here. It's got so many buttons. I'm not going to try to turn it on. Oh, that pulls out. Yeah, I didn't pull it out. I didn't know that. Not too loud. The maximum. Sounds like we're at the airport. That's a good thing. Average cooler, look at that. I love how there's plenty of counter space for appliances not everybody uses. Although I'm guessing these folks might use their um, air fryer a lot. Where you can have an air fryer out and for it not to feel like you're using all the counter space. And there's so much more room. Look, they even got a TV. Watch a cooking show. Do we have more than one dishwasher? Is that what that is? Oh no, that's the waste. Okay, where's the fridge? Right here. Oh, there it is. Stealth design. How tall are you? Uh, six one. All right, so you gotta be 6'1 to reach that. Oh wait, no, you don't have to be 6'1. <laughs> hey. You could be uh, five foot whatever, whatever I am on a good day without my shoes. Every drawer here has like something cool. Look, we got these like pull out pantries, pull out snack drawers. Now it's nice to see we got like a really functional island. Let's check our $3 million water pressure. I think it's acceptable. Look, we've got a sink sprayer. Works. This is also pretty wide and look at this. We've even got the breakfast stools right over here. The cool thing is there's so much light pouring in that if you have like a book or the newspaper and you read it, it will be well lit for you. The kitchen view here is also south. Look, you can see the gleaming river right over there. That's what gleaming looks like.
There we go, found the laundry. Can you imagine if there wasn't laundry? And look at how nice this little hallway is. We've got another bathroom over here, and we've got two of the bedrooms. And the storage space in this apartment is just incredible everywhere you look. Tons of walk-in closets everywhere. And it's nice that the living quarters are split up throughout the unit. I like how the uh, bathroom hardware matches the hardware in the kitchen. We've got these same faucets everywhere. Really cool looking sink. Love the lighting in here. Oh, are these medicine cabinets? Am I gonna break this? Nice big bathroom and the two bedrooms that are just off this are gonna kind of share it. Plus I guess anybody who's sleeping over, maybe like your crazy uncle, this will be the bathroom that they get ready in. Isn't this beautiful? It's set up as like a, a guest office slash sitting room. You've got the westward view. So in the evening, this will be a sunset. This is the first TV we've seen. And the view of these two guys is even better from this window. Definitely there's more than enough space for a queen size bed in here. Plus I love this quirky old dresser. And this almost looks like some sort of award for something. Oof, look at that. Perfect bedroom closet. I like this bedroom, but there's a few things in it that are interesting. It might be a part-time guest bedroom for you, but it looks like it's the cat's full-time bedroom or bathroom. And there's an HP printer in here, which would never drive anyone insane ever. No way. Super big wall here with the art on it. That could be like a TV entertainment center. I've got the westward view. Is the closet here any different? Oh, okay, cool. So this one has built-in dressers. That's useful. But even though most New York apartments don't have a bedroom this good, it's nothing. These are nothing compared to the primary. Mary. This might be the best bedroom in New York City. Not only does it fit a king size bed, no problem. You can have a massive dresser and tables. There's even like this charming little seating area. And we're facing east and south in a corner unit. And that's why the view here is so incredible. You're gonna get that morning light over there. You can see the bridge. I haven't tried to open these windows. Do I dare? Okay, they open enough for you to look out. You see that little uh, cafe with all the books? That's right there on the corner. Look at this closet. It's artwork and windows. In the closet. Probably one of the best closets ever. I don't think I have enough stuff to fill up something like this. Look, this hamper's even super nice. Look at that. But you got the pet porters, the wall of shoes. I love how there's racks and hangers on both sides. Luggage way up there at the top. In most parts of the city, this would actually be a bedroom. Literally, there's NYU students sleeping in bunk beds in rooms like this downtown. Best bathroom ever. Look, the floors have like that expensive tile pattern. We've got the two sinks that are actually like one sink. If you make a mess or need extra elbow room while brushing your teeth, there's no way you're gonna get screwed up in here. One, two, three, four medicine cabinets. Look at that. The tub is like this modern slate masterpiece. It feels like we're at a spa. What? There it is. Have you ever seen a bathroom with this much window? I don't know if it's possible to get sick of looking out of these. It's like there's something interesting no matter where you, you know, put your eyes. Also, the storage in here is insane. We got drawers pretty much everywhere. And, uh, we've also got this awesome standing shower. It's pretty big. Got the fancy drain in the corner, the sprayer, the overhead. And even though there's a door separating this from the rest of the apartment, it does have its own door as well so that your partner doesn't know what you're up to in here. It's the polite thing to do. Thank you. Subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.